Sorry about this. Y'all. Um, uh, but, okay. Much better. Okay, actually. Bit up. Not that one. There we go. Say hello to Warhammer Battle March. As you can see, I'm making a new set game, so this is going to be blind. <laughs> okay. Uh, tutorial basics. Hope you like tutorials, because this is where we're headed. I am going to f*** you up, bitch. Boom, bitch. Oh, what do we have here? I'm Captain Barker, and I'm here to introduce you to the basics of army generalship. You have the money for the commission. Let's see if you've got the brains to go with it. Yep. The general needs to survey the battlefield to command his troops. This is a system enabling you to see a lot of your army at once. If you want to look around this humble encampment, you can move the left into the desired direction. Wander around a bit before we move forward. Well, I'm glad that didn't prove too difficult. If you don't want to stare ahead all the time, here's how to rotate and tilt the view. This is... You can turn around by moving the right I'm stick to the right. Again. Well, you can tilt the camera by moving the right stick up or down. To give it a try, let's look at the area behind you. Have you done this before? You've seemed like a natural. <laughs> Thanks. If you want to zoom in or take a closer view, press the up button on the D-pad. Oh yeah. Look at them batteries. To zoom back out, simply press the down direction on the D-pad. Good to see you picked up the basics. In the heat of battle, you'll be zooming and rotating the view like there's no tomorrow. However, in some dangerous situations, it's very important that you set the view back to its default position. To set your view to its default position, just hold the right trigger and then press the right stick. Praise be to Sigma! Now, zoom and rotate the view again, and then go back to the default position. You learn quickly, and it's good to see. To aid your strategic planning, at the upper left corner of your screen there's an overview map called the Minimap. Duh. I call. Here you can see the top view of the whole battlefield. I'm the white you. triangle shows your camera position. If you want to see the general overview of the battle in the main view, hold the right trigger and then press the left stick. If you feel you've seen enough, return to the battle view by pressing the left stick again while holding the right trigger. Great. You've learned how to manipulate your view of the battlefield so far. However, you're going to actually have to command your army to win battles. So, let's take a look at that. You can see a small force in the middle of the military camp. The Count thinks a lot of you and has given you some of his soldiers to command. Lucky you. There are no individual soldiers on the battlefield. Every soldier is part of a group called a unit. Now, here you have a swordsman unit, which is a basic melee unit. And next to them is a handgunner's unit, which is a basic ranged unit in the Empire Army. Any time when you want to select units and want to give command to your men, you have to use the pointer. Their color the choice raised, leaves a bit to be desired. The, the pointer is always context sensitive. Its color and shape depends on the targeted units or terrain. To get the attention of the swordsman unit, move the pointer over the unit and press A. We stand ready to fight! Now they're ready to be ordered about. I'll show you how you can move them around. 
move the pointer to the red circle on the battlefield and press the A button. Victory! <laughs> as easy as that. Now the swordsman will move to where you click. There it'll be. It's press, button press, bastard. Uh, Let's try it again, just to be sure. Move the pointer to the red circle and press A again. Victory! Ah, I'm the master! The darkness shall not defeat us! Let none bar our path! Yes, you've definitely got this mastered. Victory will be yours. To deselect a unit, simply press the A button on it again. Or, to deselect all units, press B anywhere. Clear your selection to move forward with your training. Brilliant! The more days here and you can take my place as a drill instructor. No. Now we'll go through a more versatile unit selection method. Well, wills it. We're holding down the right trigger. Press the D-pad down to get the detailed army view. Here, you can select units with the left stick by pressing the A button. Ah, right. Later on, when you'll command bigger armies, you can switch to the heroes and to the siege tab by pressing the D-pad left or right. Ah. Uh -huh. Now. Select both your swordsmen and hand cannons. Our cause is just, my lord. Hmm, way too perfect. I suspect that you've already practiced it earlier, haven't you? Yes, yes, I have. Most of your units will move in formations. They form a square-like shape that helps them fight together and makes it harder for the enemy to harm them. However, this will stretch out a little bit. Extra time. And in addition, the units that move in formation are more vulnerable from the back. So it's very important that you make sure you have them facing the right way. Never show your back to the enemy. Now we'll learn the deeper aspects of the move command. Press and hold the A button while targeting the red circle. Move the left stick to change the facing of the units. An arrow with the unit's position will appear. Now release the A button. Quick march! You have the precision of a marksman, no mistake. Yes, yes, I do. As you can see, your army has some intelligent self-organization skills. The melee units, like the swordsmen, always try to place themselves in front of the ranged units, like handgunners, to protect them. Sometimes, in the heat of battle, you need to select all of your units as fast as possible. In this case, Press the left stick or the right stick to select all units on the screen. So, as you already know, you can deselect the whole army with B. After that, try to select all of them by the stick shortcut. Good. The art of war is no mystery to you, is it? Nope. It's useful to organize your army in groups. In the lower left part of the command panel, you can see a small number that represents the actually selected you can cycle through all four groups by pressing the right bumper. But you have no groups to find at this step, so you will find them empty. To create a group, select one or more units and press the right bumper button while holding the left trigger. This will define them as members of the currently selected group. Now add your swordsman to the first group and the handgunner to the second. Sigma wills it. What are your orders, my lord? We stand ready to fight. Ready and willing. The fight will shall prosper. We await your orders. 